Well, you're likely working on menus for your 4th of July weekend, and that could include some food from Fraboni's. Well, there's a big change behind the scenes for the longtime manufacturer. It's business as usual at Fraboni's factory. Sausage is how things really got started with Leo and Irene Fraboni. Decades ago, they hired on two young Toonie boys. And we grew up uh, pretty much on welfare in the housing projects. Mark and Wayne had to help support their family. Whenever I was in school, it seemed like I was working at Fabonis. And over time, they became like family to the Fabonis. In our younger days, uh, just to tie us in, Leo gave us part of the business. So that kind of, you know, the mines, you could make a lot more money than we were making. And so he gave us part of the business and just kind of kept going. And uh, then we ended up buying out the rest afterwards. They've expanded to 6,000 products. Come on. A nod to the past when Leo's parents ran a grocery store. Wayne is proud of the new products he's been able to peddle. That's a rewarding part of, about it. I, I was always out on the road and I got to know some great people. You know, and I mean, about a 100 mile radius of Hibby. You know, and we've, it's, it's, been, it's been fun more than it's been work. And favorites like porchetta with fennel from the gardens. But after nearly 100 years combined with the company, they are ready to retire. But it's time for the next generation to take over, you know, in my opinion. I mean, fresh blood's good blood in my eyes. And so I am almost 66. New co-owner Chris Burgum is trying to absorb all of their knowledge. It's a lot of learning. I'm getting through it a lot of time, but uh, the guys are very helpful uh, in, in helping this transition. He believes in the value of building on the heritage and history. It's important to keep the business the way it is, you know, maybe have some expansion in the future. Uh, that's something we're looking at, but I do like the local tie and the local tie to the community. Um, you know, we're here for, uh, we're here for everybody. And that's why the Toonies feel good about the future of this food company. So really at the end of the day, it's a, it's a good fit. We, everything stays local. All the employees are still here. So everything stayed in place, which was huge to us to, to keep it carrying on, you know. Yeah, just getting a local guy rather than having a big company kind of take and swallow it up and all of a sudden isn't around anymore, you know. And I think that, that's the good news part of it. So, and he's got aspirations to go. Chris and fellow co-owner Chad Mutin received a loan from Iron Range Resources to help with the purchase of the company. Good luck.